Hello, seventh graders. Let's talk about your IXL assignment for today. We're going to continue working with percents. It's a very good skill that you will need later on in life when you're doing taxes. Uh, let's take a look. I'm going to share my screen here with you. Let's take a look at what it's called today. So today's is called multi-step problems with percents. So you're going to have two steps to solve the problem. Let me show you here. I'm going to split my screen so I can work on it. All right. So let's read it. Evelyn took one of her friends out to lunch. The lunches cost $50 and she paid 2% sales tax. If she then left a 20% tip of the $50, how much total did she pay? All right, so first let's find out how much the sales tax was. So she spent $50, she paid 2% sales tax. So times 0.02. Actually, I'm going to rewrite it this way. I'm going to do put the O2 on top times 50. I'll show you why I did that here in a second. So I just did that so I can just add the zero on at the end. So 5 times 2 is 10. Carry 1. 5 times 0 is 0. Plus 1 is 1. Add the zero back on. I have two spaces. So 1, 2. Okay, so sales tax was $1. So, so far she has spent $50. She has spent $1 on sales tax. So, so far she spent $51. Okay, now she left a 20% tip for the waiter of the $50. So if we do 20% of that $50, right? I'm just gonna add these two zeros on at the end. Five times two is 10. Add my two zeros on, two decimal points, so $10. Okay, so plus $10. How much total did she spend at lunch? $61. Okay. Let's look at another one. Jody bought a calculator that was marked it down 80% from the original amount of $100. If she paid 5% sales tax, what was the total cost, right? So the original price was $100. Okay. She Let's see, Jody bought a calculator that was marked down 80%. So she paid 20%, right, of the original price. So if I do 100 times, we're going to do this, 100 times 0.80, so 80%, okay? 8 times 1 is 8, add on my three zeros, two decimal points. Okay, so that's how much money was taken off. So $100 minus $80, she paid $20 for the calculator so far, okay? But then she also had to pay sales tax. So she paid 5% sales tax. So she spent $20, but she has to pay 5% sales tax. I always write it the wrong way, sorry. I always do the percent on top just so I can add the zero on at the end. Okay, so if I multiply this out, 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is that, add your 0, 2 decimal points. So she then had to pay a dollar sales tax. So plus $1, she had to pay a total of $21. Let's look at a harder one. Try this one. So while on vacation in Belleville, Ava went out for dinner that cost $172.50. It's an expensive dinner. If sales tax in Belleville is 13.5%, holy moly, that's a big percent, and Ava left a 20% tip, what was the total cost? It's going to be an expensive dinner. Here we go. So $172.50. She had to pay 13.5% sales tax. So 13.5%, remember you're moving this 13.5% as a decimal, you're gonna move this over twice. So you're really you're doing 0.135. Okay, it's gonna be a big multiplication, but we'll just add the zero on at the end. So five times five is 25. Five times two is 10, plus two is 12. 5 times 7 is 35, and 1 is 36. 5 times 8 is 5, and 3 is 8. Placeholder. 
3 times 5 is 15. Carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Add your 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Add 2 is 5. Add 2 placeholders. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. Add all this together. You got 5, 7, that's 11, and so that's 18. It's 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12, 13, and 2. Add my 0 on at the end. How many decimal points do I have? I have 3, and 2 is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So she had to pay $23.28 in sales tax, right? So, so far she spent $172.50 plus $23.28 in sales tax, okay? Lastly, she hey, left a 20% tip on $172.50. So I'm going to erase all this. Actually, I'm just going to erase all this. So 172.50, she paid 20% tip. So 0 0.20. Okay, add those zeros on at the end. Two times five is 10. Two times two is four. One more is five. Two times seven is 14. Two times two, two times one is two. Plus one is three. Add my two zeros on. I have four decimal places. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so she also paid, she also left a $34.50 tip. If we add all this up, this will tell us how much she spent on lunch today. So eight, that's seven, and five is 12 decimal. Uh, that's five, and five is gonna be 10. That's, that's nine. Wow, brain fart. Seven and two is nine. Plus three is 12, plus one is 13, and then two. So she spent $230.28 on lunch today. Holy moly. That's how much I spent at a grocery store for a whole week's worth of food. That's more than I spend. $230.28 and 29 cents. She so wanted me to round up. Okay, so I should have rounded up because when I went back, can I show you this? Let me see if I can go back. Oh yeah, this will take a second, but let me show you. So I thought about this. Okay, look right here. So right here, when I said $23, let me get a different pen. When I said $23.28, right here. They wanted me to round, since there's a seven here, they wanted me to round this up to 29. So it should have been $23.29, not 28. I said 28, but if you look at the thousands place, it is gonna round this eight up to a nine. So that's why it's $230.29, all right? Let's do, so remember that when you're completing these or else you will get them wrong like I just did. So let's do uh, one more. Um, let's see if we can do a harder one. All right, we'll try this one. So a new or a store in Newport purchased an emerald pendant that cost nine hundred and sixty-five dollars and ten cents and marked it up ninety percent. All right, so let's do that first. So they bought it for nine hundred. $65.10. And they marked it up 90%. Okay, I'm going to add the zeros on at the end. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. Carry your 4. 9 times 6 is 54. Plus 4 is 58. 9 times 9 is 81. Plus 5 is 86. Add my two zeros on four decimal places, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so now after they marked it up, the price 
is, let me make sure that's right, $868. So they marked it up 90%. So now you need to take your $965.10 and add on another $868.59. And now this is going to tell you the cost of the pendant, right? So nine, six, 13, that's 12, 13, 17, 18. Okay, so now the pendant is going to cost $1,833.69. Okay, part two. Later on, Bernie bought the, end, the emerald pendant. If the sales tax is 4%, how much did he pay in all? Okay, so Bernie bought it for this price, but he had to pay sales tax too, which is 4%. So times 4%, okay? So um, actually I'm gonna flip it once again. I'm gonna rewrite this here, I'll show you here. So I'm gonna take 4%, multiply it by 1,800, $33.69, okay? So, okay, let's do this now. So we got nine times, actually, I don't know why I did that. That did not matter at all, I'm sorry. I was thinking of something totally different. And I'm gonna stick with my red ink. Okay, so times, nope, red ink, oh. Four percent. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let's do this now. So four times nine is thirty-six. Four times six is twenty-four, and three is twenty-seven. Four times three is twelve, and two is fourteen. Four times three is twelve, and one is thirteen. Four times eight is thirty-two, and one is thirty-three. And then four times one is four, and three is seven. Okay. Um, I'm going, and then there are four decimal places. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So he paid $73.35. Don't make the same mistake I made on the first one, because look at the thousands place. So 35 cents. All right. So this was the price $1,833.69. Now you got to add on the sales tax $73 and 35 cents. And this will tell you the total that Bernie paid. So nine plus five is 14, six and three is nine, add one is 10 decimal, three and three is six, one is seven, three and seven is 10, nine. So he paid $1,907.04. So let's see if that is right, it's 1,907. Point oh four. There you go. All right. So don't forget this part's important. All right. You need to round up from the thousands place. If this is a five, if this number right here in your thousands place is a five or higher, it is going to round up your hundredths penny right there. If it's four or lower, you're going to stick with what it is already there. All right. That is what you're gonna to complete today. It is due Monday. Let's try to do the best you can. Remember this would this score right here would be a 9.3 out of 10, all right? Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you all have a good weekend. I will see you soon in the Zoom meeting. We have some special guests coming in. Yes, sir. we have more than one. So you shall see who is coming to our meeting. Hope you guys like my hair, I'm growing it out. This is really long by the way. Hope you have a good day. Take care.